remembering that the typical compensation pattern for the cobra's foot type is the cuneiforms shifting or compensating in a dorsal direction. This mobilization effect is to get movement in the cuneiforms. The direction of correction is from superior to plantar. And with cavus feet, the shock absorption mechanism, the ability for the forefoot to adapt to ground reaction forces, is compromised. Typically because of the steep angle of the metatarsals, and also the locking mechanism through the mid-tarsal joint prevents the forefoot from being a flexible structure. So it's not uncommon to have either callus formations or sensitivities in the forefoot because of that compensation. And there's typically hematode, claw toe compensations through the digits. So releasing the joints through the forefoot is an important part to help those cavus feet. Check on the sesamoids as well. Be alert to the fact that because of the compensation that happened typically over years, decades, if not the lifetime, there will often be sensitivities through the sesamoid apparatus. What we need to be very careful about is coming from the lateral side of the sesamoids and then applying a force in the medial direction. If you apply the force in a dorsal direction, the main thing you have to watch out for is the upper leg and foot because it's going to swing around and hit you in the jaw. It can be very painful. We definitely want to avoid that consequence.